Did did you poop? No. Are you sure? Did you poop? Ah! Are you happy? Are you happy? No, I just curled his hair. What is that? Is it good? Uh... Oh. Again. Is this like way above their age group? Because that's gonna make me cry. <laughs> Do you guys know who Eminem is? The comments are like, the candy? Bitch. By the way, I'm not on the phone. Um, this is, I'm using this as a microphone because I'm a professional YouTuber. Anyway, we just got back from New York and I'm gonna expose DD the intern real quick. Which, side note, he hasn't been an intern in a long time by now. He's like a full time employee, but he likes to call himself DD the intern. He thinks it feels younger. I'm just telling you guys a wild story. This blew my fucking mind. We get back from New York. We're upstairs with Sophie because my sister's gonna come pick Sophie up and I have to get all of her stuff out of the suitcase, including her precious rabbit. She's got this stuffed rabbit that she, it's like the size of Sophie. And she takes it's that her shit. Friend. Oh, sorry. It's her bestie. Andrew texted us before New York. You can lose anything, but you cannot lose that rabbit. Anyway, rabbit in Korean is toki. I'm giving you a free Korean lesson. Toki means rabbit. We just call it the rabbit. It doesn't have a name. Andy's Korean. So bad. To give you context, he's full Korean, dropped his Korean one class in college because he failed a quiz. His level of Korean is bad. So he's downstairs with my mom and he's freaking out because he's like, oh, I'm gonna get Sophie's stuff ready. Where's the freaking rabbit? I don't see the rabbit downstairs. And he's like, the trauma that we have in New York of like finding that rabbit every two seconds is fresh in his mind. So he goes to my mom and I'm not there. I have to translate for him usually. And he's like trying to communicate with my mom. And he's like, I guess somehow he like screams to my mom like oh my god we need to find the ducky like the ducky and I guess my mom she's 60 something she hears duck she starts microwaving rice cakes it's toki it's not duck duck <laughs> is rice cake toki is rabbit like we had this whole freaking argument downstairs because he's like well it sounded like it I think your mom just couldn't hear me because she was like upstairs and I was like downstairs and I was like no bro it's because you said ducky and not toki it's very different there's kochu which is a hot pepper like a chili pepper mm -hmm. and then there's gochu a body part <laughs> that I cannot name right now yadom yeah, yadom yeah, <laughs> so anyway, it's a whole thing. We got Andy Rosetta Stone, so he needs to get better at his Korean. But I'm not really one to talk. I need to get better at my Mandarin, so we're both on our Rosetta Stone streak right now. We're going to hold each other accountable. Here's the problem with most language learning. I think it's really hard to find the motivation to spend hours cramming down on grammar and vocabulary. I think before Rosetta Stone, my longest language learning streak was like nine days but I am so proud that I have been using Rosetta Stone almost every single day I think the only days that I didn't use it was I was like so sick I'm like in bed can't get up can't even look at my phone because I'm so sick and that's because learning a language feels so fun and intuitive with Rosetta Stone the most unique thing about Rosetta Stone is that there are no English translations so you just kind of have to learn to adapt and adopt your target language in a more intuitive way I also love that it doesn't feel like this overload of new information just like shoved down your throat just overload of translations and like vocab and flashcards it just feels so much more fun and natural Rosetta Stone teaches you to think in your target language and it's interactive. It feels like playing a video game. So there's lots of pictures for visualization and native speakers also are in the app. They, they tell you how to use the words and the phrases to describe the photos so your brain just connects it in a much more natural way. Rosetta Stone is teaching me Mandarin the same way that Sophie is learning her first language and the way that Andy better be learning Korean. So Rosetta also has a voice recognition feature that teaches you to pronounce words like a native speaker. But the best part is that I can take Rosetta Stone anywhere that I go. It's also super practical. The lessons are short. It comes in about 10 minutes to complete a lesson. So whenever I have 10 minutes, I'm doing it. So if you're interested in learning or currently learning a new language, Rosetta Stone is giving you guys an exclusive 60% off their lifetime subscription. So if you want to have access to all the languages Rosetta Stone has to offer, Korean, Japanese, French, German, Dutch, etc., 
for the rest of your life, then you click the link in my description because you'll get 60% off. So instead of $399, you'll only pay $149 for access to 25 languages for life. And let's get back into the chaos of New York City. Oi. Honey, are you having fun or is she having fun? Okay. Yeah, I think this is your satisfaction, okay? I think he's reliving his childhood. It's not Sophie's childhood. One. Two. Two. What's this? This. Okay. All right. Um, Kyoda, did, did you poop? No. Are you sure? What is it? Did you fart? Yeah. No. No? <gasps> what? Kilda, are you cute? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you can never get her. I got you. I got you. She's so happy. She's so happy. She's really happy. No, then, she's so happy? Yes. Oh, she's so happy. Oh, happiness. What is happiness? Does anyone remember these good old days when life is so simple? Okay, okay, whatever that is. Feiji. Feiji? Feiji, yes! <laughs> She's learning a brand new sense of vocabulary today. This is Huocho. 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 Huocho, yes! No, sha yu. Sha yu? Yes! <laughs> be? This is shui mu. mu. Yes! Hai gui. Hai gui. Yes! Oh man, either I'm doing some really good work or I'm messing everything up. She's gonna go to daycare and they're gonna be like, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> and she goes to a Korean daycare. <laughs> October. Halloween. Halloween! Oh. Dolphin, what's dolphin in Chinese? <laughs> she got me all confused. Um, <laughs> Um, what is the dolphin thing? What is what is dolphin? Guys, is this what parenting is like? Is this like a correct reflection what a parenting is? Please let us know because I'm kind of into it, honey. I need you to go over to the living room next to where I sit on the ground. There's a book and a little head massager. So, P, I'm about to change your life. Yeah, you are insane. Mom, Val learns Chinese. Ah! Look at this. She don't like Chinese? She's like dog. Cody, Teji or this or Teji? No. That's the pig. Quangy? Quangy or this or Toki or this or Toki? Toki. Burgugi. I had spent 30 minutes of my life putting together this busy book on Amazon. Every single one of these sticks up. But that's crazy. The fact that they have like fake buttons. You gotta tie your shoes. But what if once she learned how to unbuckle things, yep. all she does is just unbuckle everything. <laughs> Bro. Oh. Do you like, know I had a habit of taking my pants off as a kid? In public? Can you help me, sir, while I go present the gift to the queen of the home? Shampoo! Shampoo! Yuki Kamada! Shimbaya! Shimbaria! She said it's a shoe! 
No, put it back. Put it back. She says she knows. She says she knows. <laughs> My mom just said, What does she know, huh? <gasps> She's drawing the blue ocean. Okay. No, no Chinese. <laughs> My mom said all she likes to do is rip it off. She goes, What's this one? And I said, Wink. And she goes, Are they scared? And I said, Yes. And I went, So scary, so scary. And she goes, Interns say, nah, I'll just not show up today. Yeah, interns like, I'm actually calling a sick day. <laughs> and then he goes out into town. He's like, partying it up on the street. Good morning, intern. Like 14 hours? Yeah. What time did you go to sleep? 7. PM? You know what happened last night? So I went to sleep at like 6 p.m. I wake up. You didn't hear me scream? I was screaming, bro. I was screaming for my life. I thought I was gonna be deceased. I thought I would never see that munchkin ever again. Basically, um, someone had sliced my leg. Someone took a knife to it and started stabbing my leg. Where, where were you? Where I was stabbing you. Yeah, <laughs> I've never had a leg cramp that serious in my life before. I screamed and I thought, okay, this is like the worst way to wake up because I thought it was now 6 in the morning. Mm -hmm. It was only 8 p.m. And I was screaming bloody murder. And Yo, so we both woke up at 8 p.m. We were so happy. We're like, wow. So we only slept for one <laughs> hour? <laughs> Here we are, guys. We look busted. Is that really what one day of babysitting does to three full-grown people? Uh-oh, mother's calling. Uh -oh. Mother. Uh-oh, uh, Mother. I tell her she's missing. Uh, okay, just, you have to just tell her. Hi. Um, she's missing. <laughs> Were you scared at all for two seconds when I said she's missing? No. You weren't scared? Scared? Not even a little bit? She was happy. You're like, yes! Okay, so here's the problem. There's nothing kid friendly at this restaurant, and my sister said some plain pasta would work because she's allergic to eggs. So I got her truffle pasta. Truffle pasta. Um, like she's good. She's like, mm, could be better. Yeah, she's like, this is. Yeah, truffle. It's a little cheap, but yeah. you know. <laughs> I only eat white truffle. You give me white truffle. <laughs> Growing up, if I had my feet on the table, I would be smacked to hell and back. <laughs> like, I would be destroyed. <laughs> Did you know that growing up, my grandma forces us to eat so fast? Whenever we're slurping noodles, we slurp so fast. Because, you know, she's like ready to smack me if I don't slurp fast enough. So many times, the noodle will be half inside, <laughs> half outside. And then I would gag, and then I would throw up everywhere, and then I would get a beating, and then I develop a trauma to that specific noodle. Every time I see it, I'm like, what? <laughs> and then meanwhile, Sophie's like, feet on the table. And... So I read a story this morning mm -hmm. I want to tell Andy about. So there was this viral news in China. There was a mom, she has an infant child who has a heart disease. And she tried to raise money to save the baby, right? Mm -hmm. But she doesn't have money, so she posted it online. And a rich kid, not a kid, like a 20 comment. He said that if you kneel on the ground and walk a mile, kneeling on the ground on the street, just kneeling, holding your kids for a mile, I'll give you 10 grand. Why would he say that? Because he's saying that if you really want to save your kid, then you will do something that actually... Because um, there's so many scams out there? There are so many scams or whatever. So if you do that, I will give you money. So she showed up on the street, right? So imagine that Soho. She was holding her baby and she was like kneeling on the ground walking for a mile. And there's reporters because they heard about this and they recorded it. By the end of the role, when she arrived at the destination, the guy's supposed to show up to hand her yeah. the money. But the guy didn't show up. So the reporter was interviewing her and she was like, I don't know where he is. He said that as long as I do this, he will show up and give me money to save my baby. But he didn't show up. This went on news. It caught on even more fire. People were so mad at that guy. And then some people was like, give me your PayPal or whatever. I will pay. I will send you money. So at the end, she raised, I don't know, like 50 grand USD. Wow. Because people, it went viral. People wanted to help her. Like, poor mom, look at her, yeah. right? And people were also so mad at her. They started searching him up. They found the guy. Turned out, he's not a rich person. He's in marketing. He heard about the story from the mom. 
So he said, if you post this story online, nobody's gonna help Nobody you. Nobody cares gonna unless save your there's kid. a villain. I will be this villain. I will post this online, get people so riled up, and then I'm not gonna show up. Then people will be so mad and people will know about your story and donate to the kid. He literally told the mom, say, you do this, I will be the bad guy. Um, who is this man? That's the standard. That's the standard. He still donated the money, by the way. Oh, he doesn't even have money, he donated it too. And he let the whole nation like Yeah, him. he got fired by the way. He got oh, fired from his job and everything. So no one cares about it. Like, people know about it, but nobody's like doing things to help him. But he basically became a villain for to save the child. Bro. Real story guys. This, this is, is real as story. As green as the green flags get. That's a pretty good green flag. I've actually never met people in marketing that like genuinely know how to market so well. The mom didn't want to do it because she would know that she's lying. Mm -hmm. But the guy said, you must do this Fair to save sure. the kid. Mm -hmm. I would, let me be the bad guy. So he would sacrificed you himself. Would you say Hell yeah. Oh my, do you think you got that we had a crazy squat? Yes. How you doing? I you think he would do something like this or anything. Oh yeah. That was. Chinese people, they say he played a game on the whole nation yeah. and used himself. He's the bait. Mm -hmm. And he invited the whole nation to play this game. Mm. Okay, what is it? There's a bird outside. Okay. Are you looking? I'm looking. You failed the bird theory! <laughs> so the bird theory is, is that if you say go look outside, they will look outside. It's a bid for attention. So they said that the successful married couple. But my attention was on you, not on outside. <laughs> That is true. Wait, I'm confused, Andy. Who said this? A marriage counselor said the bird theory is if you have a couple that have been dating for a long time, if one of them says, oh my god, look outside, there's a bird. If the other couple is like working on their thing and they just go, oh, okay, or they don't respond, or they keep looking at their phone and go, oh really? There's a bird? And they don't look, mm. the relationship is duped. I did see a bird flew by. <laughs> Though. So like I just followed everything that you did. I was sitting next to you, right? All of a sudden you come in the room and you're like, I don't feel so good. He immediately just gets up and it starts like taking care of the house and doing like these little things for you. And I was just there because he didn't say anything. I was just there just following. I was like, do I, do I follow him? Like, you pass. Uh, am I your favorite? Yes, yes, yes. Do you want to live here? Yes, 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 yes. Do you want want me to adopt you? Yes. She's like, what's going on right now? What's going on? Are you happy? Are you happy? She asked me if I'm happy and I started crying. <laughs> you need therapy. Not a three-year-old calling me out. <laughs> uh, Inter is ready for a glow up. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Like your shirt. Has Cindy seen it yet? No. Okay, Andy hasn't seen it yet. Wait, did you get a purr? No, I just curled his hair. What is that? Is it good? Uh... Oh. Oh. Ah. She said, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, whoa, what just happened? You don't like it? It looks like a bird's nest. Honey, it's a little like Ajashi vibe. What? I gotta, I gotta walk with my... What? Do I look like Ajashi? Yeah, you look like your dad. What? I think the first one was better. I think we did it in your bedroom was a little better. Good try. Whoa, 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 what? What you guys do in your bedroom? <laughs> this So is... people, they're going on an outing without me and Stephanie. They're going to the museum of ice cream. What do you think, Cindy? Nah. This is how she was yesterday. Like this. You're creating a monster. Too spoiled, too spoiled. Yeah. Meanwhile, Just 
reason to turn up the dial But I'm scared to hear the sound the slide and I was alone with Sophie. When she got on the thing, she would get scared and come out. So oh. I was like, hold her, I'll hold her. And like, it's okay, it's okay. She's like, I want to ride it, I want to ride it. We have to wait for a whole new wave of people to come in. Oh so my after god. After the was like, all right, you guys can go, you guys can go. She gets in, she gets scared and comes out again. So I have to hold her and he was like, he's like, no, don't worry, dad is with you, dad is with you. Dad is with you! <laughs> Yeah, you should have just given her a <laughs> one of these little encouraging, you know. I just went in to check up on my mom and Sophie because they're showering. And I was like, because we don't have like one of those anti-slip mats in the bathtub. I opened the door and it's the most foul, like New York City subway train in the summer months. Don't even do this smell justice. It's really foul. It's as if I took mango sh and let it bake in the sun for six months and then I brought it in, put it in a blender with garlic. So basically it's Sophie's diaper and it's just out in the open so I'm trying to go in with my bomb squad right here. We're gonna grab the diaper, I can smell throw it down the- Oh, it's so bad, I can honey. Smell can, you, so bad. can you hold this? A burrito. A burrito. A burrito. Ah, you're the cutest burrito. A burrito. Are you a burrito? Yet. <laughs> you are burrito. Yet. Okay, burrito. Um, that face you... only exists when she's taking a poop. So I no, 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 no. Did you poop? Yes. Um, <laughs> Did you poop? Did you poop? Ah! Did she Is she pranking me? I think so. Is, she's laughing. Is she pranking me? Don't say that. Ania. Ania. She was lying. <laughs> she was pranking me. You know how to prank? You're so sneaky. You're so cute, my Are you smart? Yes. Kyori ippo? Kyori ippo? Yes. Kyori kiyawa? She said, why are you laughing though, huh? Yeah. What's so funny about that, huh? You didn't know it opened? Typical boys will be boys <laughs> <laughs> moment. <laughs> this is giving <laughs> girls go to Venus and boys go to Jupiter to get stupider. <laughs> Imagine you're on a first date and you're like, you order a steak and you whip this out and you start cutting your steak with this. Is it a green flag or a it's red a flag? beige flag. You guys commented that my husband had a beige flag in an MM video. This guy had to look up beige flag. He didn't understand what it meant. You like, know beige flag? It's like not a green flag, not a red flag. It's like no, this is what beige flag is based on my research. Beige flag is basically something kind of annoying but with a good intention. I dance a lot, like just randomly. Go to the floor now, go to the floor now. That's a beige flag. That's a beige yeah. flag. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I'll go up. Man. What else? He goes like this, guys. Wait, is it both at the same time or what? Actually, that's a red flag, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, grab one. Okay, everybody, in your mouth. You have to stick the whole thing in your mouth. You guys look messed up. Oh, it was really aggressive. <laughs> really aggressive. Oh, oh, I keep going. My move, my mouth. <laughs> okay, here you go. Now here's the question. Yeah. Do you know how to tape this? Yeah, of course I do. How? It's this way. Right? Oh shit. Is it this way? Wait. <laughs> it's it's this way. Is this way? Yeah. Dragon looking to the right? Because it's the right way to look. Ooh. Chinese people love shit like Ooh. that. Oh yeah. That's like this Wrong. Way. You tape it like this. A fucking diagonal? <laughs> yes. We, we got 0.5. Do you look at the words? Huh? I don't get it. That's how they're written. Otherwise, they're crooked. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. You don't know why it's a dragon on there? Do you know, Andy? Dragon's like a traditional guys, Chinese piece. Guys, it's the year of dragon. This year is the year of the dragon? It's the year of dragon. Oh my god, it's Come the on. year of the dragon. You guys are so off on this right now. <laughs> The year of dragon is actually like the oh. most popular year. I'm so sorry, food is here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, the food is here. 
Okay, this is the place. I'm eating carrots. I always have a bag of carrots and my hands are only getting redder. It's, it's unstoppable, unstoppable at this point. point. I ordered food from a place called Sam Sunny. I think they forgot like one item in my order, but tell me why this is so expensive. We have four bulgogi mandus. Andy, you're gonna love it. We have Korean braised beef. Oh, we've got a spicy tofu soup. We have scallops with rice. Mmm. Wow. Fried chicken. An egg souffle. Oh, that looks so good, no? Oh my gosh. Ooh. I didn't want to out you like that, okay? But as we're walking, I just hear this guy mutter under his breath. I've never seen so many pretty girls. <laughs> and I'm like, sir! Sir! Who did that? that was it was him. It's probably me, yeah. It was probably you muttering that. Do you know what Andy was teaching me? What? Well, I don't know. Bro. Kind of weird. Bro. It's about the triangle thing. What's oh. the triangle thing? You seduce a girl, you have to like, in a really sexy way, look at their left eye, and then their right eye, and then their lips. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> Stop looking. <laughs> I heard when you're trying to make someone feel dumb, <laughs> What kind of am I on? You look at their forehead. You keep glancing at their forehead while they're talking. Dude. So that's what I heard. I don't know why. Wow. I'm looking at your forehead and you are unfazed. <laughs> I thought you were doing the triangle thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's confused. Message unclear right now. Guys, I have been up. What is 24 plus 12? 36. I've been up for 36 hours right now. And I feel great. I feel like I never need to sleep ever again. And that's terrifying. I just asked Andy for his Chinese zodiac. He said August 27th. I said, no, 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 no. Are you a cow or are you a pig? I'm a sheep. I'm a sheep. Mm. Are you really? Okay, what does sheep mean? It's a sheep, you know? I follow people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. He said, I follow girls. Yeah. I follow, my I follow girlfriend. girls on Instagram, okay? <laughs> Do you like crunchy bread? You like doughy bread. You like big ass hamburger buns? I like buns. You do like butts? Butts. Butts. I heard I like butts. Okay, give me your uh, bun to patty ratio. 80% bread. 20% patty. You got me. You What's are... going on? You just love bread so much? I used to go like Golden Corral. I only ate two plates of their bread. Oh, he was telling us that his dad banned him from buffets. No wonder. Okay, I'm so pissed if I took my f***ing kid to the buffet and they're getting two plates of garlic bread, okay? No, it was the dinner rolls. The dinner rolls always were so good. You're kidding That's me. That's even worse. I'll have like eight of them and then I'll be done for the day. Bro, yeah. we got some right. good ass snacks at home and I'm always like, you want a snack? He always says no. I didn't know all it took was dinner rolls. I want to try, I want to try the New York experience. We have but, but you don't but you don't like it though. Maybe you guys just need to step it up a little bit. Oh oh, oh. calling out New York. Alright, Andy had the same reaction. Like <laughs> Stephanie over here once again try to argue that okay, she it, can tell taste the difference I in can. the carrots. No, baby Different carrots color. are a little bit harder. But with the full size, hold on. Can you taste this right now? You say you can taste the different colors. But I never eat the baby carrot version. Can you do it or not? Now I all I hear is like, oh the baby carrot, the baby. Okay, test me. How do I know you're not cheating? I'm not cheating! You do not cheat, okay? I'm Here's the orange one. Go for it. What? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I need another bite. No, that's it. What do you mean? I thought you can tell the difference. That's purple. Uh-uh. <laughs> yes, it is. Here's another orange one. Yellow. This one's yellow. Are you sure, honey? Yellow. You yellow. cannot like, tell me again Sorry. that they taste yellow. different. I think it's yellow. It's yellow. Yeah. Okay. Can I open my eyes? No. <laughs> Can you stop? There's one more. One more. Here's another orange one. This one's orange. Open your eyes. No! <laughs> <laughs> what was the one before? This one. Oh. <laughs> Out of three, you only got one, right? <laughs> That's 30%. Because they've been awake for too long. If I get a good eight hours rest, I can tell the difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. What the hell is Sophie doing there? She's <laughs> blinding herself with the neon light. We should bring a rack. <laughs> so right now we're grilling Andy now. Because he's a ride or die for his future girlfriend. Stephanie has a very good, good question. I agree. I agree. Your girlfriend commits a hit and run. She kills someone. She's not drunk. She wasn't speeding. It's just really dark. Technically, 
really, it's the city's fault for not putting up street lamps. Drives off. Drives to your place. There's blood all over her car. Can you say you did it? Yeah. What? No hesitation. Why would I let her suffer, you know? Like... Damn, that's a committed man. <laughs> that's a committed man. Bro, wow. wow, 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 wow. So the reason behind that, you don't want her to suffer. Obviously, if it was an accident, I'm okay with taking the blame for that one because it's like, she didn't mean it, obviously, you know, and like... Mm, dang. What if she meant it? <laughs> what if she meant it? What if she fucking meant it? <laughs> oh, what was the other question? You are a paramedic. Mm. You arrived at a car accident site. It was your girlfriend in the driver's seat, but she cheating on you with another guy. And that guy is in the passenger side. They're both dying. And the girlfriend say, let me explain, let me explain. But they're both dying. Who do you save? You only have time to one. <laughs> <laughs> with me, I get... With me, I will save her. I, will, I get very emotional very easily. So I think in that moment of time, I honestly think I'm not gonna do anything. You wait, 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 wait. Both you didn't let them both die? He said, I'm very emotional. That's why, like, I'm so. Oh, you mean you're very angry? Yeah. I'm gonna be so angry to uh -huh. the point where I won't be able to think. And at that point, I think I'm just gonna be so mad. But you where... did not strike me as a mad person. But cheating is like my top. My top thing of just like, come on, you know mm. what I mean? Like, I understand you're both dying. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. It's tough. But right. like, you cheated. Like, what else do you, yeah, you expect me to do? Like, like save your life? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Fair. 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 Or, or the second option, which I might see happening, is I might be so in the moment I won't even like see the guy or even question why the guy's there because I see that my girlfriend is like hurt. You know what I mean? It's, I think those are the two options. His options. pants are off. <laughs> <laughs> so hit and run, she's drunk. Do you cover for her? Drunk? That's a that's a good question though, because drunk is like that's there definitely preventable. I don't think I would take the blame for her, but I think I would help her. Mm. I think in a way I'd also like but, apologize. But she freaking loves you. <laughs> huh? I, I would hope that she loves you. Yeah. She'd be like Andy Opa. Okay, if she calls me Opa, then that's game over. I'll, I'll go. What if you feel like your girlfriend is taking advantage of you? I would be 100% blinded. I know because that's happened, so. Ah. Sophie loves New York. Yes! She said yes! That's so cute! Ni hao! <laughs> Do you like New York? Yes! Oh, thanks! is we've lost the squid I found the sheep but I can't find the squid so that is what I'm doing at my 37th hour okay I'm looking for the damn squid so that's it for today's vlog I hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for tomorrow because I think tomorrow we will finally all be alert and awake I love you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow are you happy What is happiness? Does anyone remember these good old days when life is so simple?